So the Colombian exchange basically um, is the first transfer of goods across different continents, okay, in terms of the Americas and Europe, okay? It's our first time of like 21st, have you guys ever heard of like global connections, 21st century learning, whatever. It's your first global connection between Europe and the Americas. So I want to stay on the Columbian Exchange for a second because I want to show you um, how we are going to um, use this for our assignment that's going to be coming up this week. So I'm going to go ahead and this is why I have to pop back and forth because I need the whiteboard today. So I want you guys to, in your notes, I want you to type hip. And then why. So we can call it the hippie. That's how I, that's what helps me. Okay. So the H is the historical context. The I is the intended audience. The P is the purpose. The other P is the point of view. And then the Y represents Y significant. Okay. So I want you to go ahead and I want you to um, write this in your notes because you are going to have to use this for the rest of the year. And I'm going to say hip and you're going to know exactly what I'm talking about. You're going to have to be able to look at documents and you're going to have to be able to understand what the historical context of those documents are, who the intended audience was, what was the purpose, what's the point of view, and why is it important. You're going to have to be able to write about it. You're going to have to be able to answer multiple choice questions about it. You're going to have to be able to um, do short answer questions about it. Like we use it all year, okay? Everybody good? Yeah. Okay. So when you look at um, the Columbian Exchange, so I'm going to stop sharing from this computer and I'm going to go see what I'm saying. Like I'm having to do both because of the way this is working. Um, and I go to this computer. We're going to go back to this uh, Columbian Exchange. So does anybody want to try for me to fit, put this in historical context? And what I mean by that is what's going on in history? Like what's the context? Like what's happening in this picture and how does it fit in history? And just try it. Just take a stab in the dark and then um, everybody get off mute because I'm going to call on you as well. Um, so who wants to try the first one? My brave soul. Katie, try this for me. What is the historical context? I've kind of given it to you. What's happening? What is this? Um, there's the first trade between worlds. So different countries are getting new products or things they haven't seen before. When? Um, well, this is right after like Columbus, so around what, 1492? Very good. So the late 1400s, early 1500s. So the historical context is that in the late 1400s, early 1500s, you have a connection between the two worlds of different goods being transferred or traded through the Columbian Exchange. Correct? Yeah. Perfect. I'm going to skip intended audience for a second. Let's do the purpose. I always tell my kids, Put it in a sentence. The purpose is to do something, to inform, to persuade, to demonstrate, to do something. Joseph, can you give us the purpose of this? Um, I mean, it's to inform about how items were moved from one continent to another when trade. Yeah, or to demonstrate or to show, you know, the different types of uh, commodities or the different types of items that are traded. Good. Um, intended audience, this one's going to be hard because, and I'll show you one that's easier here in a second, because this, the intended audience is like, who was this made for? 
And when you're using a document that's a reading or political cartoon, the intended audience is a little bit easier. Some kind of just picture might be a little difficult. So let's see. Um, Catherine, can you tell us who you think the intended audience of this would be? Students. Catherine Elliott, who do you think the intended audience of this is? Students, possibly. Yeah, probably, right? It's going to be put in some kind of history book, so a historian, a student, something like that, okay? And again, this another one that's going to be difficult to kind of figure out is for this particular uh, document is the point of view. Because there's really not necessarily um, somebody's opinion in this. But let's see, Emily, can you kind of figure out what the point of view of this would be? I can't hear you, Emily. I'm sorry, my mic doesn't work very well. I can hear you now. You're good. Oh, okay. Uh, the point of view would be like from someone that's trying to convey like what was being traded. Okay, yeah, absolutely. But they could also show like the good, the positives and the negatives, right, of the Colombian exchange, because you've got all these different commodities that are good, but do you have anything that's negative on here? What's the negative piece that it, they're demonstrating with this picture? Disease. Disease, good. Okay. Perfect, does that make sense? So Ryan Hughes, tell us why this is important. Uh, just because it brought uh, new items all around the world. Um, it was diverse, like just all these different products going all the way around the world, just um, new to everyone. Good. Okay. Does everybody understand that? Do you understand how to do this process? Yes. Let's look at another one. This one might be a little bit easier. Um, August, can you tell me what the historical context is of this picture right here? You're on mute, August. Uh, sorry. Um, looks like they're sick, probably with some looks like the flu or like the chicken pox, something like that. So if I if look at the date, the date is 1575 to 1580. Oh so. yeah, um, that's probably that's probably when the Indians or Native Americans got a smallpox. Very good. So the historical context of this picture is the smallpox with Native Americans because it's showing a bunch of Native Americans. Good. Um, so what would be or who would be the attended audience? Sophia, can you tell me? Um, probably someone who wanted to know what the effects or of the disease were and what the symptoms were. Good. So who could that be? Could they be sending it back to the mother country or the European power to show them what's happening or try, you know, they could be sending it to um, another country or whatever to demonstrate what's happening over in the new world, right? Kirill, what would be the purpose? So the purpose would be to spread the knowledge, probably notify people. Okay, it could be. But what are they depicting in this picture? Possibly the uh, other side of Colombian exchange, the negative side, maybe. There you go. Exactly, right? So the point of view, Olivia Johnson, would be what? You got, like, are, what are they, Kirill kind of answered it. That's why I kind of jumped to there. Yeah, that's why I was confused. Yeah, so it, what's it what's it basically depicting? The positive the or the negative? Of the, the, the exchange. Very good. So here's what I want you to understand, okay, is that one event, the Colombian exchange, can it have both positive and negative aspects? Yeah. Can it have both different points of view, different sides, and people think it's either good or it's bad? Yes. 